I saw this video and it kind of made me think about doing one myself. Not really someone that kind of makes videos that are fully emotional. So here goes! This video is called Dear Younger Me. So let's start. Hello Younger Me, you are going to go through one hell of an elect electrical, emotional spectrum. But that's okay. It's not cool trying to be emo because emo is not just a phase, it's a way of life for some people. And you're very happy now, so you don't have to try to get in that zone because don't worry, that part of your life will come up very shortly. Those people at school that bully you and judge you for how you look and call you a slut, they're doing things ten times worse and those people are just assholes. They don't make you who you are. They don't know you. They hardly know themselves. They're just people looking for attention and people who want to make themselves more popular. Don't believe everyone that tells you that your friend is your friend. Friend is more of a person that can prove themselves, not a person that can label something repeatedly and then do things that aren't that way. You're going to have a tough time and some guy is going to spread a load of stuff that happened between the two of you around everywhere at school and you're going to be completely bullied for it and completely made out as a horrible person but you were just experimenting. Sexual and being sexual is normal. There's not a problem with you. You are not less of a person if you want to explore. You're not less of a person if you trusted someone. It's not your fault, it's theirs. And you shouldn't take the blame or feel disgusting because of their behaviour. Taking a razor to your eyebrows is not good <laughs> because you have loads of hair everywhere and you want to look like everyone else. Taking a razor to your, to your sideburns and your eyebrows in the middle and then cutting your fringe with scissors is not a good idea. Probably lead and does lead to a few awkward months where you have a stub in your hair. <laughs> Sometimes if someone says something's okay and you don't think it is, don't accept it as being okay. You can't save everyone. Don't rush into everything. You have a tendency to rush into a lot of things and a tendency to find someone safe or believe someone's safe and then rush headfirst into the situation and come up worse for wear. You're going to have a tremendous loss, but you will be okay. And you will get through it. It's going to be crazy because at the time you're, you won't be able to breathe and it will be extremely tragic and you will lose a lost one. But, but, after that happens, you will come off stronger and reinvent yourself as someone that is still passionate, still powerful as a person and you'll be able to see the world completely different than you do now. Drama isn't always an answer to everything and shouting and wanting control of a situation isn't always going to make people stay. It's going to make people run away as fast as they can. Don't force things for people friendships, relationships, emotions, decisions, because you'll end up losing more people than you gain. Shaving your arms, not a good idea. It may say loads of stuff in beauty magazines, but stop reading them. They're not, they're telling you bollocks. It's just bollocks. You need to be this certain weight, or you need to look this certain weight. You are beautiful as you are. You don't have to look like a superficial supermodel you shouldn't feel horrible, but you don't, because a lot of those things are photoshopped. You can't be like that person. You are beautiful as you are, honestly. No matter what age you are. I know you're probably 13 
or 12 or 11, I'm talking to just a younger version of you, but you are absolutely beautiful and you have amazing potential with everything. Don't let anyone tell you different. You can do any talent you want, and if someone tells you you can't or you're shit, fuck them, quite frankly. I just want to be more real. I want to be more real about things. And this is my channel. I sometimes just see it as something I put videos on and just have to do the videos because I have to do them, or just pop a video because I haven't done much videos. But I mean, I need to, and I will, invest more time in making videos that are more genuine. And, and more kind of not high pitch and you can see if you go through my videos from years ago you can see my, my voice is different I'm just very erratic and it was because obviously I was going through like someone's suicide at that time but at the same time I was just all over the place so I just want to be kind of more more into just just giving content that's just me if I'm not wearing makeup and just just as I am, not having to dress up for a video, just just being as I am. And I, I if you don't like that, I'm sorry. You can unsubscribe. But um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of be more like that. So yeah, thanks. See you soon, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Bye.